Hello ladies and gents, this is your complete guide to bounty hunting in the universe of Star Citizen. In this video, we're going to be covering what bounty hunting is, your introductory bounty mission, the different levels of bounty missions, as well as PvP bounties as well. I'll be also adding in some quick tips as well, and at the end, I'll be showing you a playthrough of a bounty mission. Before we move forward, make sure to hit the like and subscribe so that you don't miss future videos such as this. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Hey guys, uh, before we get started, for those that are new, I'd like to quickly go over what a bounty is as well as why you would be interested in getting involved with bounty hunting as a career option in the game. So what a bounty is, is it's pretty much a contract where you're required to kill a citizen and to receive Alpha AUEC upon a successful completion of that contract. So why would you want to be in in involved with bounty hunting in the first place? I mean, this is geared towards those that are more interested in con combat as well as the unpredictability that comes along with combat and also those that want to make some ex pretty decent money in the game actually um so when you want to get involved with bounty hunting you need to hit f1 to go into your movie glass um you need to go to your contract uh manager here and then just select the bounty hunting bounty hunter tab um you're not seeing it here but initially when you're starting off fresh you would get what you call a introductory contract where I think there will be about two of them or three where it will be different companies for example in this case North Rock Services Group they would have sent me uh, they will send you an initial contract whereby it's sort of like a test for you it will be very simple very easy to complete but upon successful completion of that contract then you will be you'll begin to start receiving uh, more bounties um, in various categories right and when I say categories I'm talking about between CS1 all the way through to CS4 bounties now you're seeing a CS3 bounties here as an example here right in addition to that you'll also receive PvP bounties in which I'll talk about a little bit later right so one let's quickly go over these categories um, of bounties so with cs1 you're looking at the easiest um con uh, bounty that you can get where you're going to be dealing with one craft and maybe one supporting craft with it and you're looking about receiving around 1500 AUC upon the successful completion of that now when you get to cs2 you're looking at another small craft um usually with a second um one or two supporting crafts with it you're looking at 2000 AUEC with that um then you're looking at cs3 where you're going to be receiving around um, 2500 AUEC but you have to take into account it gets more difficult now you'll be dealing with a cutlass black which is a little bit bigger than a small craft um so you have to take that into account and of course there's going to be supporting supporting crafts with it so when you get to CS4, it will be a lot more difficult. You're dealing with a Valkyrie, one Valkyrie, which will be the target craft, plus some supporting Cutlass Blacks, right? So you gotta make sure you're bringing a lot of firepower and um, you gotta make sure you're prepared for that. So now when you're taking bounty missions, you gotta take into account that before you go ahead and start the mission, always go to mercenary right and you'll find a contract called a call to arms here it's always going to be there every time you log in so always go find this and accept this contract even when you're not doing bounty missions right so the purpose of this is when you run into an npc or pirate that um, you're able to kill you'll receive money for killing that pirate reason being is they also have bounties on them right so when you're doing these mission these contracts 
you're going to be getting supporting crafts like i said right so when you kill those supporting crafts you'll also be getting additional money on top of the amounts that i mentioned earlier right so now the end game of bounty hunting is when you're talking about player pvp bounties right so what these pvp bounties are is within star citizen there are some individuals that are more on the other side of the law they as they do more criminal things they will receive crime what you call crime stats and the higher the crime stats when it gets high enough the game will start issuing contracts to take these individuals out so that's what you're seeing here with this individual where the game is willing to give out 10,000 AUEC just to take out that individual, right? So now, for these contracts, you gotta be, you gotta be careful because you're not dealing with an NPC, right? NPCs are at a static location, and um, they're a little bit easier to deal with. But players, you gotta take into account that they may have higher skill level than the NPCs. They're also unpredictable, so you gotta track it out, right? Players are not static, they move around, right? Also, you gotta take into a fact that they may also have a group of individuals with them. They may be multi crewing as well, so you have to take all these things into account when you're hunting down an actual player, okay? So, what I'm gonna do in the next segment, I'm going to do a playthrough of a bounty um, of a bounty and that way you'll, you'll, you'll be able to get a, a good grasp of how the bounties um, play out okay but before we move forward make sure to leave a like if you saw anything in this video that you liked and make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button um, to make just to make sure you don't miss any future videos all right I'll see you on the next segment all right so I'm gonna do this uh, CH3 bounty here. Um, the NPC's name is called Asante, and I'm just gonna go ahead and accept this. In addition to that, like I said, also always, always, always go and accept the cult of arms as well. And um, let's see. So it's already accepted. If you go into your accepted missions, you'll be able to see it here. It's being tracked, so that's why it says on track here. So um, let me quickly see where it's located. All right, it's not even too far from me, but I'm in my Carrick, so I'm gonna need to pick up my fighter and um, and fight him. So I will skip ahead and then I will see you shortly. All right, so we're just arriving. Let's see how I do. If you have gimbals, make sure you set your gimbals by hitting R. You see these green dots here. All right, so there he is. Just boosting to him. Okay, I'm detecting. I detected one. Two. See, these are the supporting crafts as well. I think he's on the other side of the asteroid. I mean, man, they're literally inside the asteroid. There we go. Oh, C three is not is not that easy. They they launch rockets like immediately, so you gotta be careful of that. Make sure you're hitting your shafts and everything, your flares, everything.
just gotta make sure I'm, I'm staying on them. I'm just constantly hitting them. Because you gotta bring down the shields first, right? So you gotta make sure you're constantly hitting them. My gimbals are actually helping with this. There we go. So that's my contract. But I'm going to deal with the supporting crafts now. So ultimately, I made the money that I need to make. But I want to make the extra money. So you can see it there 2500. So now this supporting craft is a buccaneer. They have a lot of firepower, so you just gotta be careful with them. They're very, very nimble. Oh, they're hitting me hard. Oh. They're very, very nimble. The Cutlass Black is a lot easier to hit. My shields are down a little bit. Come on. All right, let's see if I can launch one at him. So you hit the middle mouse button just to lock and then you have to hold it to launch. Nice. I'm not sure why it's not launching. Okay. I have to use a flare. I'm going to flare again. Okay. So I'm locked now. There we go. He's tough, man. He's really tough. Hopefully you guys get the gist of this. I don't want to keep you too long, but make sure you like, leave a like, and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can watch till the end, but I uh, just wanted to let you know. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'll see you on the next one.
there we go all right there's one more oh i think there's two more actually all right you guys get the point right <laughs> so i'm just gonna leave this is gonna take forever I think that one is a M50. All right, so I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.